I want to go back to the, the vocal prayer uh, mm. because it is important. Okay. It's not saying that you can only do meditation and not do vocal prayer. I'm not saying yeah. that at all. Yeah. Both are necessary, but vocal prayer can actually lead into mm. meditation. The mm. key for both of them is who are you being attentive to? Mm. When you're saying the vocal prayers, are you attentive to whom you're addressing? The words are being addressed. Okay, are you attentive to what you're saying? Because when we become attentive, then we become attentive to the presence of God. Yeah. And this is what I'm trying to say about meditation, why it's so important. Mm. The reason it's so important is that we may be afraid to lose control and to be led by God. Mm. And it may seem better to us to be in control, but quite often what's in control is our mind and our thoughts. And they actually can be pretty difficult for us at times as well, yeah. too. So we actually can have ourselves in a prison with our mind and our thoughts. And God wants freedom for us. Okay. I came across a wonderful, a wonderful image, which is just coming back to me now, that I read in a book, which is, for me, is one of the best books I ever read. And it's on contemplation. Okay. And it's a and it's very easy read. And it's by Martin Laird. And it's called Into the Silent Land. Okay. The book I would strongly recommend. The image he uses in that book is he was walking along once uh, somewhere in Kerry. And this man had four dogs. And the dogs were running all around the place like mad. They, they enjoyed the freedom. But one of the dogs kept running around and around in circles. Whereas the, other kept, uh, the others kept running all around the place. And after a few days of seeing this, he couldn't resist. He had to go up to the owner and says, why does that dog keep running round and round in circles? He says, because before I acquired that dog, he lived his life in a cage. Oh, wow. And he ran round and round in the cage. But although he was free from the cage, he was still running round and round and round in circles. And in some way, what I want to say is that with our vocal prayer, we can be a bit like that dog at times going round and round in circles. That's why the meditation is so important, because God wants freedom for us. God wants us to experience his love. God wants that freedom, that expanse for us in that sense. It's risky. You feel vulnerable. Mm. But it's a risk well worth taking. Because God, you can depend on God. God will not let you down. As long as your mind and your thoughts are in control, your life will be quite narrow. That's why I keep saying, don't believe everything you think. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that goes back to Proverbs. And Proverbs it says, trust in God and don't lean on your own understanding. Don't lean. We often do it. We always think we're right. But really, our viewpoint is so narrow. It's so small. And God wants to open that up for us. He wants us to experience freedom. Mm. And meditation and contemplation brings us into that place of greater freedom because it frees us from the tyranny of the mind and the tyranny of our feelings. And it opens us up to be present to God, to enjoy God's presence, to delight in God. And one final then image really in relation to that from Francis de Sales. Francis de Sales says, God is like a magnet who is drawing us all of the time. But you know what happens to something that is drawn by a magnet. The, the stuff that is drawn becomes magnetized itself. It takes on the qualities of the magnet. And this is what happens in our relationship with God. When we give him the time and the permission and the freedom to operate or give him unrestricted access to our lives, then God is able to draw us, to magnetize us. We become transformed through the experience and he lives in us. As Francis de Sales says, we draw God's heart into our own and Jesus lives within us. All of his spirituality can be summed up in two words, live Jesus. And meditation leading to contemplation allows Jesus to live in us. We become another humanity for his presence in the world. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. 
Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.